I want to talk about the music artist because me is pa 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 pa. You didn't know the vibes. Shatawala in this bitch. So the other ones, I don't know them. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Prince Onika. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and also remember to comment and like. So today we're going to be doing a question answer video and also just a chit chat. I had some questions that people asked, like what, four questions? Because nobody really cares when I, I ask people to ask me questions. So we're just going to jump straight to it. The first question that I got was how important do you think it is for Africans in diaspora to come back home? Um, I feel like every African diaspora need to come back home, not just like to move or anything, no, but to visit because I feel like a lot of African kids, they've never had the opportunity to visit their own country and when they have become older, they don't even think about going to their country. They just want to go to, well, is it Bora Bora, <laughs> Bali, uh, Indonesia, Indonesia, Bali, right? Um, they want to go to Dubai. <laughs> they want, like they don't even, you tell them like, hey, why don't you go to Cameroon? They'll be like, mm. like, so I feel like the parents need to install the mindset to the kids that yeah, you need to visit your, your country someday. And I feel like, when you haven't visited your country yet, there will be this small piece that is still missing inside you or like sense of understanding yourself and your roots properly. But I feel like once you visit an African country or go back, you kind of like, you see where you come from. Even if that is not your country, but well, you still can get the picture and you know that this is where my people literally, you know, and because most African countries they do kind of like similar things so you kind of like get the idea like oh maybe my grandma was also doing this or you know and people will teach you new things and someone will not even be your grandma but she'll become your grandma so you kind of like get that love that understanding and just forced to kind of like re-know yourself in that sense because yeah people say don't lose yourself when you come back home it's not like you you lose your you will find yourself so i think it's very important if i didn't say that enough if i believe that everyone should visit the continent and experience the happiness the sadness the horror everything that comes with it just to know and maybe once in a lifetime to feel at home somewhere where you 100% belong. Someone said, what is a typical day like where you're at in Ghana? Okay, I would say everyone has a typical day. Like my typical day is totally different from a lot of people's. But I would say like, because working class, we have different kind. We have those like that work up at like four, like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m. They wake up, they go and if they sell bread or something like that, they go and buy it from the baker or take it from the baker. And then they prepare whatever they have to prepare and then start going around selling them or go to their shop. Or some people like market women, like they start very, very early to pick up their goods and then go to their shop or their stand. So people have a very different type of days. Office workers, I think they wake up at like six. Yeah, six, seven. I think six because of traffic. So you have to I think, reach work around eight, nine. So you wake up at about six, leave at seven. So people have different days. Uh, but probably I'll do day in my life, but my life is never the same. Like the days are never the same. But I'll still film one like that. But I think if you want to see day in the life, I'll actually link Jasmine Ama, some of her videos. It shows, I think, bakers, day in the life. It shows a mechanics, like different, different like people from this place. Are you ever planning to grow your hair? Well, I grow my hair, but I just don't show it when I grow my hair. The last time my hair grew this long, so it was like around here, but you guys didn't see that. Um, yeah, my hair grows very fast. My parents, they have, very nice hair 
so yeah but I probably won't grow my hair as long as it used to be my hair I think used to be around here but you can't see it I think around here my hair used to be and um, I don't think I'll grow I don't think I'll grow it that long for a very very long time maybe after I get married in like 20 years I'm joking but like yeah it depends on what I feel like and because my mom is not here so who is gonna wash it for me who is gonna braid it for me you know tell me five things you like about Ghana okay so I like the food kind of I like the food kind of I feel like Ghanaians they don't know how to season their food that much like they just put a little bit of salt and that's it like they don't proper properly seasoned they don't put like maggie they don't put um arum salt and all those kind of stuff but like i'm used to it like yeah but it's always a big difference when i leave Ghana and go back home and mom is cooking me angolan food congolese food it's like wait hold on food can have this kind of seasoning yeah so i like the food quite a bit i like the people but i feel like the people they don't speak up like they'll be speaking to you like sometimes i'm just looking I'm like, sorry i can't hear you like can you speak up yeah, it's very hard for me sometimes to hear them sometimes i'm like madam you have to like speak up twice before i hear you um i like i said the food the people the weather it's bomb you see this glow it's the weather glow and the money glow the nightlife is nice everyone is lit like it's just good vibes like no fighting on i've never seen people fight it's just like even if like we haven't drunk anything, like we are litty. Fifth thing is creatives. The creatives are very creative, if, if I may say so myself. And they, they want to try new things. They like to try new things. People that do nail, not all, but the ones that are creative that are, that are not just doing it for money. They are very, very good. They are very talented. The photographers, most of, some of them are very talented. They're editing, There's, it's just wow. Like you can zoom into the picture, you can literally see someone's skin, but like better. Yeah, and uh, I want to talk about the music artist because me is pa, 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 pa. You already know the vibes, Shatawala and this bitch. So the other ones, I don't know them. <laughs> um, yeah, so the creatives are really, really trying. And I only think the movie industry is dead. They should revive it if they need me to help, you know, acting. Hit me up hit me up i just feel like they also need better marketing because i've never really been like oh let me sit down and watch a Ghanaian movie never the better cameras better directors it's not always yvonne nelson and uh, is it pascal something something i can't remember his name i think he's a short guy but whatever pascal something something it's not always those two people that need to direct good movies i feel like like they are i don't mean like they're doing a bad thing no they're directing good movies but others need to come out also and direct good movies and put other people in the movies because those people they always put the same people and it's getting quite boring actually so yeah well now i'm just rambling <laughs> and that's on that are you are you having a hard hard or easy transition into the ghana culture uh, i'm not having a hard time i think everyone have said that even my parents my parents are like yo why are you acting like you're born here like you're just finding everything easy i always knew that africa was home and i'm such an african african so i never felt like and I, I don't feel like it was and hard for me because personally i know when you're coming to an african country you need to have an open mind like really really open mind because if you don't hmm, you'll be slapping people on the road like it's mad <laughs> i'm not saying that people act crazy but some things that you think that might be basic it's not basic it's not common sense to be precise um so yeah i feel like because i came with an open mind i know and i feel okay like sometimes when i see people do something i tell them that they did wrong because I know that they don't know that they did wrong so that has helped me a lot and they are very open to receive the criticism anyway I think that wraps up this chit chat random thing so guys I'm gonna see you next time so please make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to comment and like and please let's get me to 200 subbies and find me on Instagram it's down below my snapchat is down below 
so let's be friends so i'm gonna see you next time and bye